Alright guys, today I am doing a review on Gears of War Ultimate Edition for the Xbox One. So, um, I've been playing the campaign, I've been playing a little bit of Versus. Um, so there's a co-op um, campaign as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the co-op because if one person dies, you all both have to start at the beginning again. So, uh, not a big fan of that. The, the servers take a while for matches to get uh, loaded up. There's not enough players. And... Uh, the graphics are very nice. Uh, let me load one up right now for you in the campaign. Um, they did a lot um, to uh, to update the graphics, so I do give the graphics a nice score. I'll give it a 9 out of 10, actually. Um, but the controls are what I find that they're okay, they're not bad, but they're not like Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 controls. You know how responsive that is? This is... It's okay. It feels like an Xbox 360 game with a newer skin on it. That's pretty much what it feels like. Um, bonus side of the game is that it comes with four um, of the Xbox uh, Gears of War games. So all four of them you get it for free. So this is the bonus side of the game. And um, as you can see, it, like the visuals look really awesome here. So, uh, But is it, is it that great of a game? Um, I don't find it that awesome because, it's, like I said, it's it's just your Gears of War game with better visuals. Um, Control-wise, it's all right. It's not uh, spectacular. Uh, so fun. I never found the Gears of War games that much like that fun compared to Halo. So I actually found Halo games more fun. Um, I find Gears of War games actually a little bit harder. Um, other than that, uh, it's a great pickup though. Um, but if you if you know if I had to choose between this or Halo 5, I'd probably choose Halo 5. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, in the comments, guys, post them below. So my final score for this uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition is a 8 out of 10. Okay. And if you if you have uh, qu questions, post.